wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what is really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. You don't have to threaten me. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure. You are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Not too much. Hey, uh, you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for, well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. If you let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> so, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. Just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I I shouldn't have asked. Parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This 
man found me and took care of me. He met up with other survivors, and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah. He was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Well, get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him. But that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group. And you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's mean. I don't like her. She did come on a little strong. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age. First time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13 point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey, why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And, of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much, and he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. 
meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. Natürlich ist das. Das Ganze vorbei. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now. Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself. Nick's right. This doesn't look good. No, it don't. But one of these folks might still be alive. And they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You want to be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Das finde ich toll, wie er gesagt hatte, äh, dass ich, dass ich immer, immer quasi alles mit Ja beantworte. Und wie kann man agreeable übersetzen? Bist du immer so bejahend, keine Ahnung. Fand ich lustig. Wobei ich ihm vorher quasi gegen gesprochen habe und auf Nicks Seite war und nicht auf seiner. with Krista, the woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. Fine. Just just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Oh, he got bit. Yeah, what a good bison. Burgers! I'm out of ammo! Come this way! Bitch! 
Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you! We gotta get out of here! Get over here, goddammit! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got... Come on! Come on! Jesus! Das war Episode 1. What are you gonna do? Oh, shit. Someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? Can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. Oh, <lacht> das wird interessant. Lol, nur 43% dann dem Typen Wasser gegeben. Ha. Huh. Naja. Okay. Dann. Was soll ich gleich weitermachen? Ich weiß es nicht. Hm. Doch eine relativ kurze erste Episode. You hold your every breath. Life is for the living in the water. Naja, ich lasse das einfach so laufen jetzt. Und dann beende ich die Episode damit. Und ich glaube, ich hau gleich die zweite hinterher. Ja. Also, bis dahin, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Stuhl sei ruhig. Wir hören uns beim nächsten Mal. Bis dann. Value your life and blood. This is not a home in water. Oh, yeah, I hope he is never found. Just try and keep your way in water. Oh, and against the tide. Struggle, skin wearing, skin wearing against the tide. We struggle to keep our heads above the tea, and our hearts above the light. Above the light, and who we are today can never make a man. Tainted blood In his eyes His eyes are full of love Forgive them Release them Yeah.
against the tide of struggle Skin wearing, skin wearing Against the tide of struggle To keep our heads above the deep And our hearts above the light 